So Fleur, I am so excited to be sitting beside you because we have had sax on repeat <laughs> in the office since we first heard it. Your first, the first time you heard it, did you know this has to be my comeback? I mean, talk about coming back with a bang. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think when we were making the song, we just wanted to make sure that we got my personality across. That it was up tempo, something I could really perform to. I wanted it to be, you know, high impact. And as soon as we heard it back for the first time, we all just looked at each other and we knew instantly it was going to be the first single. There was no other song that could come before it. Yeah, it's one of those ones, the first time you hear it, you just love it straight away. It's instant. It's amazing. That X Thank Factor you. performance was just show stopping. How nervous were you? I was terrified. Yeah. You know, even more so than when I was on the show. Really? Genuinely, yeah. Why? What? It's, it's a whole different vibe. You would think that you'd be a lot more confident, you know? No. Yeah, it was no. <laughs> I think it's just because when you're on the show, you, you perform the same stage week after week and okay. you're kind of just in the motions. Yeah. But then coming back after a year and like being my own music and me competing in the world with everybody else and having the contestants there watching me, yeah. I felt like so much pressure. But then as soon as I got on the stage, I just had so much fun, I really enjoyed it. Well, we could definitely tell. <laughs> the reaction was overwhelmingly positive. Were you happy with how people reacted? Did you expect such a massive reaction? No, I didn't. No? I didn't, to be honest, because I felt like I had a lot to live up to as well. You know, Uptown Funk being the last sort of major performance that everybody remembered of me. Yes. So I was like, yeah, I've got a lot to live up to. So then when I, you know, heard the responses, it was just incredible. Like, yeah. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. The rest of the album, what can we expect? Similar vibes to sax? You're kind of influenced by a lot of old school mm -hmm. Motown vibes. Mm -hmm. Is that what we can expect? Yeah, definitely a lot of old school sounds, but I think sax kind of touches on the funk sound, but then there's a lot of hip hop, old school hip hop, there's disco, there's soul, you know, just lots of old school vibes, but with a modern twist. So you're going to hear my sound, my personality through it all. And it's all up tempo. Amazing. How involved has Simon Cowell been in the process? That to me is just so <laughs> scary to imagine Simon Cowell like critiquing my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, I always just wait. I'm so eager to hear like, his criticism. Mm. So as soon as people are like, well, we're talking to Simon today, we're gonna play him a few songs, and I'm like, Ooh. you know, I'm always like eager to hear what he has to say. But thankfully, he's been really positive and he's just overseeing everything, but he's allowed me to be really free creatively and it's amazing. 